The sodium battery revolution has begun in China. It's beginning here in Australia. It's becoming an unstoppable force. And now it's hitting the United States. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Sodium batteries are hitting the grid. Not just electric cars, they're gonna hit electric cars in a massive way over the next few years, probably taking at least 50% market share in the electric car space within 10 years. But for stationary battery storage, sodium ion batteries will take over almost the entire market. It'll take a while, but it will happen. Peak Energy just switched on a 3.5 megawatt hour sodium ion battery, the largest energy project, the largest energy storage project developed in the United States. And the system is the first of its kind at grid scale. It may eventually be a game changer for bringing affordable electricity to the United States. Now in the United States, the cost of electricity has skyrocketed over the past 12 months since Donald Trump has been in power. The cost of electricity has gone absolutely mental. There's been a few things that have caused this. One of them is Donald Trump's insane policies. Another one though, is the increase in demand for electricity, which has actually primarily come from AI centers. The solution is sodium ion batteries. The world, and in particular the United States, are still wasting literally billions and billions of dollars of renewable energy by not storing all that energy that we actually uh, generate during the day when it's sunny, or even sometimes when it's windy as well. Sodium ion batteries work well in hot or cold weather without cooling systems. And that is one of the reasons they're cheaper. Now, the cooling system is not just the reason. Uh, the other reason is because they massively outperform lithium batteries in terms of overall cost. They're about half the price. Energy density is similar. They last much longer though. If you look at the Naxtra battery, the new sodium ion battery from CATL, that battery is said to last five times longer than lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL. So imagine that you're a, a utility company or for example, you're Google or Microsoft and you wanna buy energy storage, you wanna figure out a way to actually supply yourself with enough energy. Are you gonna buy lithium batteries that have five times less life for more money that cost double the price? No, of course you're not. So you can see here how this is going to completely change the grid, not only in China and in Australia and in Europe, but also in the United States. So this makes batteries cheaper. They're easier to maintain, especially for utility scale projects as well. They also use more abundant materials. Sodium is very easy to get. It doesn't take hardcore mining. The US actually holds the world's largest soda ash reserves, a key sodium iron battery ingredient. And the entire Raw material supply chain can be sourced domestically or from allied countries. Uh, guys, is this not another reason why the United States should be pivoting towards sodium ion batteries? They don't need to rely on refined lithium from China, I'd say so. The Berlin game, California-based energy storage company's technology is designed to slash lifetime project costs, which will make an enormous difference to electricity bills. With US household energy costs climbing at crazy paces and projected to continue climbing over the next couple of years, utilities are trying to figure out ways to solve this problem. Peak Energy's design eliminates active cooling, making them more efficient, smaller, cheaper, and it reduces moving parts. It also cuts battery degradation by 33% over a 20 year lifespan, saving more than $100 million over a project's lifetime. Honestly, companies that don't pivot towards sodium ion will basically have a, a massive disadvantage. Storage is critical to solving America's dual energy crisis of affordability and availability, said Landon Mossberg, Peak Energy's CEO and co-founder. With the lowest operating cost of any storage system in the market today, Peak Energy is proud to have developed a ready to deploy answer to energy affordability. So I see Tesla pivoting to sodium ion batteries. I think it's just a matter of time before it happens. If they don't, then Peak Energy will take a lot of market share away from them. I think it's inevitable. Peak Energy sodium ion phosphate pyrophosphate NFPP battery storage system was actually unveiled in July. 
and is now running at the Solar Technology Acceleration Center in Watkins, Colorado. It's being operated in partnership with nine utilities and independent power producers. It is the US's largest energy storage project. Now, Peak Energy are saying they're gathering real-world data on the battery's performance and share it. we'll share it across participating utilities. The only thing I'd say with Peak Energy, the battery is impressive, but in terms of lifespan, Cadle's sodium ion battery has a much, much longer lifespan. And that's who they will have to compete with because Tesla, they use Cadle battery cells. So CATL, they use their battery cells. And for example, to give you some context, 5 million miles for their sodium ion battery in if you use it in an EV, 5 million versus about 1 million for lithium ion phosphate. It's an enormous difference. And that shows you just how good those batteries are. So whether they like it or not, US companies, that US battery companies that make their own sodium ion batteries will have to compete with the Chinese because, um, for example, Tesla will import those cells and use them in their mega packs probably within the next couple of years. Either way though, all those issues aside, the truth is that this is a phenomenal revolution. It's amazing. We don't need lithium, really. I mean, lithium mining is going to suffer enormously. I personally would recommend if you have invested into lithium miners, probably get out of that. It's, um, it's, that market is going to shrink enormously. If you're invested into lithium battery companies, if they don't have sodium mine batteries coming soon, projected, haven't released information or details about them, I'd be selling my stocks. Guys, what are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.